Take a look at the Chicago lineup presented by Illinois Bone and Joint Institute, Mike. Chicago makes one change today as they welcome Michael DeWall back into the starting lineup at number six after featuring off the bench last week. No changes in the back line for the Hounds. They try to get some chemistry going in a group that features Chris Matina, former New York player that was recently named the USA Eagles player pool. Coach Sam Harris makes a few changes to his forward reserves in Stevens, Krishnan, and then Kumbua. He keeps the same backs of their good ones. Baska, Campbell, and Eloff have all played for the USA Eagles. Now for the New York starting line presented by Main Freight. After a dominant performance last week, the Iron Workers go with an unchanged pack. Exciting news, though, is that numbers one through four, Wengluski, Fawcett, Geiger, and Brickley all were named in the USA Players Pool. So half their forwards were in the USA Player Pool. Tell you how group that is. The only change in the starting lineup is an inside center. Canadian international star Quinn Nowati suits up at number 12. Just outside last week's MLR Player of the Week, Jason Emery. On the bench, Head coach James Semple makes one change and adds some power up front with Anthony Parry at number 17. So New York looking to maintain continuity today and build off their big win from last week. The broadcast today, and such a game breaker. Fawcett, the hooker. Akui makes a clean catch. We'll see about the set piece. Now the mall, the line out. Fawcett has it at the back of the mall. Driving toward the try line, still has it. Dylan Fawcett looks for five, getting toward the line. Derek Summers, arm in the air. It's a try for New York. And the storyline continues. The match here, Mike. The storyline continues. Dylan Fawcett put another. Chicago wants it. Shoot for the back. Has the ball. Good feed. Layuta. Driving toward the try line again. Chicago trying to get on the board for the first time in the match. Meeks gave it up in the middle of all the pressure. Dotson, a little closer. Meeks on the outside. Latina, Dominguez. Does he dot it down? Yes. Celebration, Chicago. And some fireworks afterwards as well. It continues. I like what Chicago's doing. They keep that ball in tight, and then they open it up out wide, and you could see the energy and the enthusiasm there with Shoup. He's fired up, and there's Dominguez. He was one of the players we talked about to keep an eye on. But this ball is thrown into space, and that's, ooh, that, ooh, that, wow. That's a, that's Feeks coming across, goes high on Dominguez as well. So, yeah. Still Rob, thanks so much. Good update. Penalty's certainly important. Meeks in traffic, trying to find the handle. Taken right back by Jason Emery and a whistle. So the penalty's conceded at 6-2. For three. Penalty kick. Flags up. And three more for Chicago. Five, a mountain of a man. Chicago gains more territory for Carney. Intercepted, but a whistle for two. First one from 40. This one is easy. Flags are up. Three more. Right back to Chicago, Cameron Dodson. Second row, left lock. Shoop for Patty Ryan. Matina. Laurel White gets physical himself. Wow, what a hit with Kara Pryor. He trucks right over him, steamrolls. Really makes the captain. Chips that head, looks in for White. Dominguez on a bounce, finds it. Dominguez, think about a second try. Got speed, got room. Got five. Got those hounds is right. What an option here from Billy Meeks. We've seen it all afternoon. They've clearly identified something in behind that New York defense. They blitz hard. They're really strong in the midfield. There's space in behind. That one dribbles up perfectly for Dominguez. But look at that. That's three, maybe four white jerseys on scene that can a little bit outmatch. That's what you need to do. You need to get in their face. And Chicago has done exactly that. Buckley, successful for Hardacre with a good pass. Back for Buckley to the outside. Here's Coe. There's a try for New York. Andrew Coe does it. it. In real time, it was a good break by Hardacre, but we'll see if there's any obstruction. There's Fuatai, runs right into Meeks. Square at him. Good lines by all the New Yorkers. We'll see what our referee team comes back with and whether or not that's obstruction on Fuatai into Meeks. It's fair, going to try. Love that call. Love that call. That's exactly it. They got it right. That really token line out. I'm telling you, here it comes this ball. Big ball. 
Set piece, line out, critical point, right back for Fawcett. So the Butcher's got it, trying to power his way to the try line. Luke White with a big tackle. Taken right back. Dalzell some power toward the try line. Who has the will to push either way? Can Chicago defend its try zone? New York getting closer. A Quay handles, but can't get there. Dalzell is close. Trying to touch it down. The ball's still on the other side. See that clearly. Can New York take it back? Yes. Perry. He'll drive toward the five. Trying to dot it down in traffic. It's across. Derek Summers looks for the ball to be dotted down to the turf. And New York does it. It wasn't easy. It was a fight. But in the end, the iron workers get it. Can Windsor do it? The legend. Flags are up, he's got it. Plus two for New York. Punches up in the midfield and then drops Cardi into the pocket for an attempt at a drop goal to win the game. Big set piece, big line outs, taken back by New York, at least the whistle. With everything on the line, Cardi off the post. Hits the post, it's no good. The fans were celebrating, thought it was through, looking for the flags up, but it got the iron instead and stays out. Use it, use it. An incredible finish. And New York kicks it through the back of the try zone. And New York. 21-20. And an amazing match here from Chicago with Cardi's chance just missing for the win.